Hey y'all, uh, here's to do a quick beginner's guide on how to um, practice in PvE mode and like learn the map and stuff like that. So the cool thing about PvE mode is, so if you go uh, go to the main menu, hit Escape from Tarkov, hit your PMC, we're going to go to Customs, so we're just going to join this. Um, so you select the map, you hit Next, we're going to hit to we're going to get to this menu and there's going to be the enable offline mode for this raid button right here. So we're going to hit that. We're going to hit enable PVE. So now um, it will spawn in scavs and bosses. Uh, as long as you hit enable bosses right here. You can even do like tagged and curse, scav war. It'll be like chaos. You can set the difficulty here. It's pretty cool. And then the amount, a good way is like just doing as in online especially if you if you're really really new because you you don't want like to be assessing the level of threat of scabs to be like greater than what they are you, you you'll want to practice against like the scabs you're going to be at be up against whenever you're playing the game right so that's it's like a good, good way to do it and then and then say you just wanted to learn the map and not have to worry about anything you would just hit enable offline mode and then just do uh no pve so so now you can just run around and you don't have to worry about anything um so that that's so then then you hit next and then now if if i queued up for this if if i die in this pve mode raid i won't lose anything and everything i gain and take out of the pve raid i won't keep which so so it's, it's almost like a waste of time in that aspect but it enables you to practice and also learn the map and it's really one of the only ways to learn the map because the map is like massive um, of course you want to get like maps from like online and stuff but at some point you just got to like run around and, and check it all out right and so so one of the fastest way to do that is to get some some like SJ uh, specifically SJ six stems right here these make you run a lot longer and a lot faster so you can get across the map a lot faster right and then everything that you take into the pve raid you're not gonna lose so 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 long as you just have three sj6s for all of your pve raids you're set for the rest of the wipe so long as you you don't go into like an online raid with that uh so so like well um a really potent combination would be like l1 sj1 and sj6 you'll just fly across the map with these and say so like i'm, I'm about to take on Rishala with with this uh, loadout that that I'm gonna be featuring and so they might be in dorms they might be in gas station they might be in fortress right so if I got to run to all three of them I have three sets of stems and then plenty of water and and food to sustain my raid you know and then uh, I got some like you know just some like good meds things that you wouldn't necessarily consider taking into a raid because they cost a lot but because you're not going to lose it, you can just run it, run that all the time. Um, and then, and you can even run like, just like a billion grenades, you know, and practice your grenades or, or run just like obscene amounts of barrel mags and you'd be like 80 kilos and you're just like, I just want to see, you're just like, you know, um, so you can do all kinds of stuff with it. But uh, yeah, um, so that's my, my PVE beginner's guide is, is, is definitely really important that you learn take the time to learn the maps and then and then just like take like have practice raids um because if, if you if you only play online what you're going to end up doing is lose a lot of gear and like sometimes there's just be like a lot of hackers out right now or just like a lot of really really good people and you don't necessarily want to be like always challenging them and just losing right because you're not necessarily getting any better but if you if you if you instead play on like pve mode then you can actually like develop your skills and stuff like that and not just get completely wrecked all the time right uh and then and and just knowing the map like i probably mentioned in, the, in my power of series knowing the map makes all the difference in the world because all these angles that you wouldn't have known about before now you know and you can check them and so instead of getting shot at first now you're you're looking at them right and so it's all these like micro advantages but yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to go see if I can take down Rashala with the Killer Timmy Level 3 and the Legend. <laughs> but yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye. Alright, so here's the test for the Killer Timmy loadout. Honestly, I probably wouldn't run this online myself because I have better options, although I might at some point just because it's fun. 
but I see I've seen a lot of Timmy's running around with just a shotgun. Um, and you could just take the side off this; it'd be a lot cheaper. But you know, not a lot of them will be running a sidearm, right? And this sidearm for me cost me maybe 20k, and then I'll run just like another another mag, and it goes really really far. So it's like this combination in particular that I, that I'm gonna be testing out on Rashala. And I'm just running like a super budget rig, you know, like like all the Timmy's with like no armor and a shotgun, you know, it's like they can spend like 50k and get this. They can spend like 20k and get this helmet, or or you could just shave off the helmet and get the Comtax, right? So like talking like 70k difference and it makes all the difference in the world well so it would be like armor and then the pistols would be like 90k or they could just run and with shotgun and spend like 30k and be like sanchu less potent so it's more like the killer timmy idea that i'm working with here you know what i mean maybe, maybe i could make some killer some timmy's killers around here or whatever but uh yeah let's let's see how we go i, I tried a one time and i got killed and in fortress by a Zavodskoy. They were they were up on the top and I like ran into like the center because I wasn't familiar with the angles and whatnot. They got me, but it was it was good. It was good practice because now I know that angle. Now I now I know to watch the flip out one of you over there. Superman stems. Don't, don't, don't. So, I'm actually interested to see what's over here. I can't visualize it. This crack as what? So crack as actually goes through here. <laughs> no shit. Taking me so long to explore that without the stems, dude. It would have taken me so fucking long.
I'll still don't know where this fucker is. So that's not an option. It's the only way through. So I think one of the big things about this gun is the ergo is actually complete trash. But um, you're not using like a scope on it or anything, so it's usually not like too bad. But um, with the laser, you don't really have to aim, and so the it and most of your encounters are going to be in close range. So if you can aim point fire, it's like very effective. I mean, honestly, that's like ideal, and it's. It's not too bad. I mean, at some point you just want to aim because you'll be more accurate in general, but uh, it still remains functional even with terrible ergonomics because it's um, A, you don't even necessarily have to use it, and B, it's not like a fully automatic weapon. It's, it's just like a very simple shotgun. I guess it's like hard to go wrong at some point, I don't understand. Gosh, that was terrible. One, 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 one. Gotta work on that. Seems like it would be very rewarding if you make sure to land the first shot. If you miss the first time and, and you like spam, the spray pattern is usually very precise. So if you if you miss the first shot and you shoot four shots, you probably missed all four of them. And then that's like half of your like damage output it's just like loss right there. So if you really take the time to to land that first one. You're about to like really put it on him. Let's see. Wasn't the best power thing. Should have thought about where I was going beforehand. I find I find myself doing things that are like foolish to do in an online raid in PvE mode a little too much. I'm not gonna lie. But it's also kind of like assessment. I have a sus like things are different, so like as long as I know that then it's not that detrimental. But it's also not functional practice either, because if you're not playing how you're going to play.
know, the the overall damage on these is pretty underwhelming. Like, they were in like a level three, and it still took like three shots to kill them. But like, I mean, it completely shredded it. A, and then like B, even if they were in like level six armor, like it, like I might be able to kill them, but like with just the eight rounds in this chamber. And if not, I can like pull out a pistol and try to finish him up. Oh fuck, look at the sniper guy. What's up, there? Fucking jackass. Let's see if I can get him. This is, assessment wise, this is dumb as fuck. I should never take this fight. And I don't even have to, but I want to. They're gonna shoot me if I peek that again. Without the front side, it's near impossible, honestly. Yeah, I almost died right there. Yeah, it's just a bad fight. I should never take. I don't even have to. Almost got me there. Okay, let's see. So I only have one more place to check, so I'm just gonna go. Back my pistol mags. It's important aspect of this build actually is um the AP rounds. Well, it's not even necessary. It's just like to have these. The like the the match rounds are much more cheaper. Very much cheaper, rather much more cheaper. Let's see. Is exhausted. Oh no. Dehydration. Still taking me apart for some reason. What the fuck? Where is this guy? I don't know this guy spawned here. I still don't know. Maybe it's from gas station. I could have gotten shot there. Ah, uh, I think I know where it is. There's a patrol over by bus depot. I think they just landed far. So like in an online match, this would be a terrible idea because I didn't clear any of this shit. And I just like sprinting through there like really disoriented. Uh, turning down. Unusual activity. Oh shit, I killed both of you, see that? The Flachetti's. This. Oh, this is why you bring the nades. It threw the spot! What? Yeah. I 
That's like gonna get us on the building, essentially. Put shot rounds. Yeah, see, they're really underwhelming against. Well, they're they're underwhelming against unarmored targets. So you're like, what the fuck? These kind of suck. But like that dude, he's wearing an alt and just completely destroyed after three rounds. Unarmored targets, man. <laughs> like, see, that's really potent, but now, like, if somebody pushes me, I'm totally screwed. I feel like a good bit. So that's why we bring the pistol. The pistol is like meant to buy us enough time to do what we gotta do. Your shawl is still here. the big man. Let's get downstairs then. Oh. Damn, I got a fracture for that? Alright. Yeah, this build is like very bursty. So you, you do lots of damage in short amounts of time. And then you're, you're left vulnerable until you can reload. So the pistol is like your bailout. Must have gotten him upstairs. <coughs> Must have been that the second person to drop. I didn't get a good look at him. There he is. Yeah, he sure was. I got him on the first volley. Okay, cool. Well, the killer Timmy. Pretty killer. Pretty killer. I guess I could just run out the raid if I wanted to, but... There's no point. I came, I saw, I conquered. GG.